fresh off a dramatic overtime victory over Columbia on Wednesday night. The Yukon Huskies welcome Mammoth to the XL Center here in Hartford. It's a battle of the American Conference and the MAC, and all the action is coming your way right here on SNY. Mustafa Traor in there for Mammoth in their visiting road gray uniforms. Not exactly a thing of beauty again, but UConn controls an extra step. UConn down 11 at the half against Columbia, 15 in the second half, and well, that guy right there, Jalen Adams, was huge in the comeback. He scores his first bucket of the game. Him all Mac a season ago. He's been dealing with the knee injury, a little bit of a tweaked ankle as well. Patel spotting Adams wide open. Nothing but nylon ties the game at five. Spotting the open man being unselfish. Oh, well, exactly. And this is how you draw the defense. And this is exactly what Connecticut wants to do. When you drive the baseline, that backside wing on the offside is going to drift to the corner before the help side can come down. Against Columbia played 42 minutes of that overtime victory. Let's it fly, and that one goes Three. down season. Certainly, Mamas season really depends on the health of Micah Seaborn. You can see how valuable he is. He's an offensive weapon. He's unanimous first team all conference. Terry Larrier, his first three of the game. See good ball with a good spacing. You've got movement away from the ball, a movement out off the ball and on the ball. Just clears out that side easily. Monmouth looked very comfortable against it. Where Monmouth is not comfortable is against pressure and traps, where they'll turn it over. Boy, Jalen Adams looking very comfortable. Was not close. Looked like there was a tip inside. Beautiful feed from Larrier to Mamadou Diara. Watch well, Larry here. He just has the ability to draw the defense and then the nice dish off. But Diara did a nice job as well. Instead of just standing there, he slid over. His man came up and he slid over to the other side of the floor where there was an opening. If they get healthy, they're going to be a really tough out in the mat when we come to January. Caught the rebound, getting it out for Adams, gliding in. Beautiful finish by Jalen Adams. He's got nine points. Little things make a difference, and Eric Cobb, his ability to outlet the pass to the acrobatic Jalen Adams. I think the plan was to redshirt him, but he was so good in the preseason that King Rice thought, We've got to have this guy in our lineup. Nice feed inside. There's Carlton off the dish from Antoine Anderson. Right. The runner by Adams won't go down. Larrier picks it up strong to the goal and lays it in and picks up the foul. And to find a way to win against Columbia, I thought was impressive. Doesn't matter how they did it or what or what the score was. Terry Larrier, that is pure from the left corner. Patel being guarded by Hammond. There's Jalen Adams, the catch and the shot. Boy, well, he's got 19 points now. He has taken over for Mammoth. Final second, Adams letting it go, and Jalen Adams beats the buzzer. Double clutch. Better in the second half. Jalen Adams with 15 points to lead the way for UConn as we watch it again. Is it out of it? his hands? Indeed it is. Jalen Adams, big bucket late in this first half. On the offensive end of the floor, sharing the wealth. Mamadou Diara gets the start here in the second half for UConn. There is Christian Patel, the right 14-footer. Ten, that's short. This is the 15th time on the season that Connecticut is down by cutting. Mustafa Traore was wide open, and then here comes UConn the other way. Larrier putting it up. Antoine Anderson rising up and sending it in. The floor, but they found a way to get back into play and on the loose ball. Adams with this head up finds his partner and then Anderson finishing. Yeah, four offensive rebounds in 20 minutes in that win over Columbia. He was very active. Adams getting into the lane and then putting it in off the glass. Terry Larrier dumping it down inside. There goes Diara. Boy, looking considerably more confident, and there's Christian Mattel. Zach Tillman into the game for Mammoth. Aaron Pass, here comes Jalen Adams out with it. Gliding in and sending it in. Well, UConn came out of the locker room with a really sense of urgency on the defensive end of the floor to finish hard at the rim to take the lead.
but when you give up 58%, you have issues on the defensive end of the floor, and they've come out with better focus on defense. Defense but has to be aware. But Micah Seaborn's been kind of quiet this half. Get going. Larrier, good up fake. Zach Tillman, double teamed. Larrier gets his hand in, makes the steal. Here comes Jalen Adams for UConn. Spotting Larrier, puts it on the deck and finishes inside. Anderson, Adams, Patel down the lane. Christian Patel hits the deck very hard but finishes. Here goes Adams, giving it up for Anderson. Into the lane, fading away, tough shot and a really nice finish. Jalen Adams. So for UConn, it's Adams and Larrier, Antoine Anderson, Mamadou Diara, and Christian Vital. There's Jalen Adams. The three-point play. UConn down by three. Adams working around the Diara screen. Boy, that is really slow. Freshman mistake by Sal Nave. I mean, he's in the game and he's strong, but on the defensive end of the floor, they go underneath the ball screen and then they send Zach Tillman up as the secondary defender. He just, that's just a mismatch. They've got to have some help from the weak side. In, in double figures again, he's got 10 points. There goes Adams down the lane. Eurostep lays it in. Man, you cannot see that enough. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Spotting Salnave into the lane. He's blocked by Carlton. Here comes Christian Patel for Connecticut. Trying to get all the way to the goal, the bolt, and the bucket. Screens for him. Try to get him the ball. Antoine Anderson has played the entire game here for Connecticut. He played 42 minutes in the win over Columbia in that overtime game. He has been in there again, and there goes Jalen Adams. Very soft, and it drops in. Second one from Vital, and it's a three-point game. Here comes Seaborn, letting it go with a second to go, and it's not going to happen for King Rice and Mammoth and Connecticut survives in overtime for a second straight game 84 to 81 is the final